this video, we are going to go into the touchscreen and programming options for our keg washers. The program covered in this video is for our keg washers manufactured between April of 2014 to current. Please note, our two vessel, three station, semi-automatic keg washer did not receive this program until June of 2014. We first want to look at the home screen. Here we will be using our three vessel keg washer with acid and detergent reservoirs as an example as this program has all the same functions as our one and two vessel keg washers. All of the valves, pumps, as well as the acid and caustic reservoirs have indicator lights for when they are in use. You also have a drain sensor indicator under the keg for when liquid is leaving the keg. The system status in the upper left hand corner shows what step you are on in the cycle. The cycle counter at the bottom tells you how many cycles you have left until you need to change chemicals, which can be adjusted in your settings menu. Starting on the right side of the screen, the screen off will turn off your screen, which can be brought back easily by touching the screen. The factory, wash 1, and wash 2 settings are different wash timing options. Factory will be what we here at Premier Stainless set before sending out our units. The timings used in these settings are based off years of experience and usage from many of our customers. Wash 1 and Wash 2 are customer set and adjustable for custom keg washing per brewery specifications. Regardless of which setting you use, we recommend taking out spears occasionally from kegs to ensure proper quality control and chemical concentrations. We also have our settings button down here which brings us into our settings screen. In here, we have options for all of our wash settings our screen brightness, as well as this button that says Dose Pump Test. Starting with the Dose Pump Test button, if we hold it down, this activates our peristaltic pump for the sanitizer, allowing you to prime your pump before beginning your washes. This also allows you to rinse out your pump with water after you're done washing your kegs for the day, especially if you use a parasitic acid or PAA sanitizer, as PAA left within the lines for extended periods of time will eventually corrode the tube and check valve. Starting with the Wash 1 settings, go into the Wash 1 settings screen which allows you to quick access specific parts of the Wash 1 settings. We're going to start out here in step 1 to make it easy. You'll see in all the steps there's a shell and spear wash option. This activates the low flow valve allowing the stem to be covered in liquid. It's good to note the longer you have wash times go for, the more liquid you are putting into the kegs, which means your evacuation times will last longer as well. Having long evacuation times may cause something called a sensor fault if the settings are excessively long. To not have this happen, make sure you have your times like the factory settings, which are as follows. Step 1, water rinse, shell will be 16 seconds, and spear will be 8 seconds. In step 2, we have your caustic or detergent wash. You can press the active or disable button to turn this step on or off. You may also repeat the caustic cycle multiple times. From our research, we have seen better and faster cleaning by doing short, multiple cycles rather than longer wash timings for the shell and spear, as you have shorter evacuation times. For this, we will have step 2 caustic wash be at 25 seconds for shell and 8 seconds for spear. The step 3 is the same concept as step 1, although if the caustic wash is disabled, step 3 water rinse will also be disabled. Step 3 water rinse will be 20 seconds for shell and 8 seconds for spear. Step 4 acid wash is similar to your caustic wash, allowing you to change your times for shell and spear washing and repeating the cycle. Once again, shorter and multiple cycles is better than longer times. If you decide to disable step 4, step 5 water rinse will also be disabled. For this, we will have step 4 at 25 seconds for shell and 8 seconds for spear. Step 5 water rinse 3 will be 20 seconds for shell wash and spear wash 8 seconds. Moving on to step 6, sanitize wash. We will have the same shell and spear options, but we also have what is called a hold timer. What this does is allow liquid to sit at the bottom of the keg for a moment and allows time for the sanitizer to drip down the shell so when you evacuate your kegs with CO2, you do not have any excess sanitizer on the shell or stem. Step 6 sanitizer wash will be 15 seconds for shell, 5 seconds for spear, and a 45 second hold. Step 7 is the initial CO2 evacuation which is not listed, while step 8 is the CO2 pressurization phase. This step pressurizes and then depressurizes the keg multiple times 
in order to purge the keg of oxygen and fill the keg with CO2 for packaging. You may do this as many times as you see fit to decrease your O2 levels. For step eight, we will have CO2 cycles at two for factory settings. Finally, we have your cycles until chemical change, which is a cycle counter from the home screen in which to remind you to change your chemicals every set amount of cycles. We will set that for 15 cycles before a chemical change. And if we press the home button, we get back to the home page and are ready to start washing kegs. This was an example of a three vessel, three keg washer, which does have more options than its one and two vessel counterparts, but this video should cover any questions you may have when it comes to our program and overall operation. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy our keg washers.